On this episode of Dating Code, our guests will be discussing some of the major landmines that affect relationships today. Watch out. That's right. Our guests will be talking about that money. And that's not all. They'll share their opinions on sex, communication, and conflict in relationships. How important is money in a relationship? Money in a relationship is as important as water in food. If you don't pour water in anything you're making, it will burn. If you don't have a job, I don't think you should be in a relationship. Focus on yourself first before you focus on trying to get into a relationship. It still boils down to money. I mean, short, how will you be able to take your babe on a romantic date? It really just depends on your age. If you're 18 years old and you're dating another 18-year-old, money doesn't really matter that much. At most, you'll be worried about the movie ticket that he's buying for you. But if you're now, like you're 28, you're thinking about marriage, money really matters, because this is someone you're potentially going to marry. It's an important factor, especially uh, looking at the state of our economy today in Nigeria. A babe that is reluctant to spend on me. I can't be with that babe. Why? Because, first of all, I'm not a sugar daddy. Let's start from there. <laughs> I think a high-valued woman wouldn't mind spending on her husband or her boyfriend or someone she's in a relationship with. I've been with someone that was reluctant to spend in, and I didn't see it as an issue until I tested what it is for somebody to spend on you, like... Ha! <laughs> Limau! <laughs> nah, for real, I, I don't think I can. I'm not asking for the relationship to be 50-50. I'm asking for the relationship to be 100 of me and 100 of you. I don't advise men act to women for money, to be very honest, but in an emergency, why not? For example, if your bank isn't working. I find it very difficult to ask people in general for money. Now to not talk of women more. Um, I'm not the kind of girl that is comfortable with asking. So if you have to be with me, it's not like I don't need it to, but you know, you just show yourself as a man. I was just about to ask him for money, but he didn't pick up. <laughs> How far can I go to spend money on my partner? As far as I make. If he spends on me, I'm going to spend on him as well. Aww. But these days, you can't overdo. Because I'm just new to the old. Somebody's spending so much on me. And he told me, you want to be stingy. <laughs> I get guys, I don't go call him, but then, bro, this particular guy, you know, he goes the extreme when it comes to pleasing his babe. She can literally change her hair five times in a month. I feel we should also, as women, spend on your partner. So just get him a thoughtful gift. He can afford it, but he'll still appreciate it if someone else gets him that, because guys don't get gifts often. Money makes the world go round. Gee, and it especially makes love sweeter. If you got it, flaunt it. If you had to pick between money or good sex, what would it be? Interesting. Sexual compatibility is really a thing in this in relationships of this generation. At least three times in a week. At least <laughs> three times in a week. In fact, I don't know how people go into it and they're not enjoying the sex. Like that's really this important. Is good. I find so many people cheating. It's not just men. Like women feel they are partners can satisfy them sexually and they go ahead to cheat. It's not like they don't love these guys, it's not like they don't love this person, but they just feel it's not doing it well. A parasitic relationship, the longer you stay there, the, the harder it is for you to actually even move on. The, once you realize it, Omo, dust your two shoes and run. Oh. If I found myself in a parasitic relationship, I'll have to run real quick. That's a jackpot, jackpot. I'm not sure you're going to marry me, so let's, let's be giving each other I'm giving you this, you're giving me That's that. Good. Case finished. How much info is too much info in a relationship? Everybody, they have voice to finish. You know what I mean? It's girl's code. You shouldn't tell him everything, especially if like your female friends open up to you. You shouldn't tell him what they're saying. Like, let's say you're earning more than him. You definitely shouldn't tell him. I don't believe in, you know, disclosing everything to your partner. You know, when you overshare, sometimes you say things you're not even supposed to say. Yeah, partners should have access to each other's phones. Because, like, at the end, we just ask, why should you be keeping any secret from your partner? Password, no, no. My password. <laughs> we don't know. We don't know why it's going on. <laughs> he doesn't need to know your phone password. He could know, but he doesn't have to know. You go break my phone before you collect my password. <laughs> because, to be honest, let's be honest. What are you looking for on my phone? Catch us next week for more tips and tricks on how to navigate the complex world of dating. This is Dating Code.